walking through the streets of Boston, we have a goal to accomplish today. And it's a goal we couldn't accomplish in New York. And that goal is to get a ball right here at Fenway Park. You excited? Yes. We're gonna go see the Red Sox play the Mets tonight. Yeah. All right, let's go take a walk around the park for a little bit. Look at the night, and then I'll sleep so lonely. We fill it up with those two. When I hurt, that runs off my shoulders. How can I hurt when I'm holding you? One, such a one, racing out, such a need, such a need, One cool thing about sitting here eating, we're having uh, some lunch after the we did the tour. Now we're having some lunch. Sitting right here, they drop the players off in the bus right there. So the only three players got off that time, but Francisco Lindor and Pete Alonso just walked right in front of me right there. I wish they would have stopped because they could have signed the ball that got off the green monster. That would have been pretty cool, but they kept walking. But this is pretty, pretty cool, man, to be able to sit right here on the street and the players walk right up and get out right there. Pretty neat? Yeah. And we're gonna keep looking around and uh, see what else they, what, what else is going on around the stadium. Yes, all right, they're setting up all the security, getting ready for the game, some fences, metal detectors, and they'll block it off to the public. We're just about two hours before the game. Uh, it's about 5.10, I believe. And we're on the other side of the Green Monster. All right, so Mets batting practice. We're in. No luck yet, but we're working on it. Your very first baseball game ever, and you get a ball. Pretty cool. A lot of people don't ever even get one. Oh! Here we go! Toss it up! Hey! So no luck on the balls this time, except for the one that I got earlier on the green monster. So that technically counts. So that counts. We got a ball from the Mets. Marissa got a ball from the Mets. Yep. And both of them at Fenway. I got mine on green monster. She got hers tossed. And I think that was Rich Hill that threw it. And um, by the way, also we got bobbleheads. It said JD Martinez. And it's a home run cart bobblehead. So he's like in a shopping cart. So that's kind of cool. We got a You got a bobblehead at all three stadiums we've been to this weekend. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yankee Stadium, City Field, and Fenway. You got a bobblehead at all of them. We're gonna go walk around right now and check this place out. Maybe we can get a toss up or something from over by the, uh, the dugouts or something. Let's go check it out and then we'll uh, stop for some souvenir sodas. Yes. Let's do that too. All right, come on. So we just stopped to grab a souvenir soda. You get a new souvenir Fenway Park cup and all that. And one interesting thing about this park is that you buy that souvenir soda, it's like 8.75 or whatever. It's free refills all night. 
I know. That's insane. I know. Dodger Stadium, I can't even give him, get him to give me water in that thing after I'm done, you know? They might give you a little ice, but that's it. So that's pretty cool, free refills. What are you looking at? Food vending machine. It's a hot dog vending machine. That's crazy. It's grilled. It grills it right before your eyes. I kind of want to do one. Isn't that weird? What's this one? This one's got some kind of food too. So this vending machine has pizza, cheese sticks, all kinds of things. I've never seen anything like it. They're all answering questions? No, they're all saying yes, but we're not even asking questions. Yeah, we're a bunch of weirdos. That guy's saying no. You got your button? Let's see what it says. First game. That's sweet. Uh, the Mets had the bases loaded, and they got walked in. Yeah. So now it's one nothing Mets, and it's starting to rain. <laughs> yeah. came up a few levels and we got you a Fenway Frank. Yeah. Uh, that's their hot dog here. It's like the Dodger dog, but Fenway Park has the Fenway Frank. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try? Yes. Let me know what you think. Not my favorite. Not your favorite? Why? I don't know, I just don't like the taste the best. Huh, in my opinion, this one is actually better than Dodger dogs and actually probably one of my favorites. This one's pretty good. Really? Yeah, I like it a lot. But everybody likes different things. Yeah, my favorite, I would say, is have to be Angel Stadium. Yeah, yours was good too. And then second would be Dodger Stadium. Then third, uh, I don't know. But this might be my top two. Yeah. So we're going to finish these and then walk around a little bit, get a few more uh, views of the stadium. Then we'll go check out our spot left field, top of the stadium. Yeah. All right. Tessie is the royal root is rally cry. Tessie is the tune they always sung. Tessie echoed April through October night after serenade installed the name in young. Tessie is a maiden with a sparkling eye. So because of COVID, they won't allow us to go to the top deck to get our, uh, our spot you know on left field at the top they said uh, they don't want people going up there because they could spread COVID around even though there's no one with a mask anywhere and the hallways are crowded and packed the seats are packed no one's wearing one so dumb excuse but anyway this is where we are by the pole by the foul pole left field top of green monster it's the best view we can get they won't let us in, go anywhere else without a ticket but uh, anyway it's a pretty cool view Kind of cool to see people in there, right? Yeah. All right, and now we're gonna walk back around. We just missed the wave, but we're gonna walk back around till we get back to our seats before the seventh inning stretch. And we gotta find Marissa. Where's his red socks? He's wearing a red vest. Back of the seats, bottom of the sixth. Boston's winning four to two. So as soon as I say it's four to two, he hits a double and uh, six to two.
So it's still uh, like bottom of the seventh. Yeah. And we're going to leave a little early because we got to get all the way back to New York and tonight. Like five hours. Well, it's going to take about two and a half hours. So we're going to start walking. <laughs> So we made it back to the car. Uh, the game is probably still going. It's in the ninth. Uh, it was six to three yeah. the last time we saw it. And uh, like I said, we have to get back because it's already, what, almost 11 o'clock and we got a two and a half hour drive home. Mm -hmm. So you get to go to sleep. I'm yeah. gonna listen to some tunes and drive on back to New York. Yeah. All right, did you have fun? Yes. It was pretty cool. I had I a very good time finally going to Fenway. I like seeing to me out to the ball game. That was fun too. And we kind of left right at, at um, as they were singing Sweet Caroline, which I was kind of bummed about because that's a pretty cool tradition when the whole stadium's singing, you know, but we'll come back and do it again for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, off to New York. There you go.